Good evening, Sammy. I'm Raymond Gerhard. Remember? Won't you uh, come in to our inner sanctum? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very gratifying that you have the courage to come back. I was afraid our story last week might have been too much for you. But, since it wasn't, suppose we see what you think of tonight's tale. The story of a strange, weird voyage that makes the ancient mariner look like one of the rover boys. <laughs> In a sense of mystery, tonight bring you The Death Ship, featuring an all-star cast of radio favorites in an original radio drama by Robert Newman. Presented for your entertainment by the makers of Carter's Little Liverpool, the best friend to your sunny disposition. <laughs> Question before we begin. Do you really know anything about the sea? The sea that covers two thirds of the Earth's surface. It's a place of storms and sudden death. A place where anything can happen and usually does aboard the death ship. The Caribbean. Vast blue home of the Gulf Stream and the mysterious Agatha Wild. Somewhere near its center, heading north, an open boat. In it, their eyes red rimmed, their faces raw and cracked. Now, five men. One of them glances at stern. There, trailing them, is a menacing, triangular black skin. Captain. Captain Sykes. Aye. What is it, Carter? He's, he's back. He's following us again. Oh, That's shark. The same one that picked us up right after the wreck. How do you know it's that same one? Because I do, and I don't like it. You know what it means. He smashed death. He'll keep on following us until... I'll hold the door, Captain. You can't get him. Ah, uh, what's the thing? I tried three times already. But please, Captain. Look, give me your gun and let me try. Okay. Hold it, Dilla. Did you get it? Never even flinched. Maybe he'll go away when Josh dies. That's what he's waiting for. Yes, he's in crazy, Gary. Mm -hmm. With all his ribs tore in? Okay. He's drinking drink it all the time. What he says? Look. He's opening his eyes. Water. Water. He's asking for water. I heard him. Uh, aren't you going to kiss him, Don't be a fool, Sam. You know he's dying. Water won't save him. There's hardly enough for the rest of us. He's entitled to his death, eh? He can have my rights and besides. Mine, too. Well, for my money, you're crazy, but... All right, Corky, poor son of... I'll have a cup. Okay, Captain. Anything going on, too, Benson? Well, here you go. Thanks. Hey, you are, Josh. Hey, you are. Now, drink this. Water. Water. Where? Where am I? What happened? Don't you remember, Josh? Uh -huh. The Mary Kay, that storm last night. Oh. We ran into a reef off Skeleton Key. Found it. All hands were lost except us. Some gear fell on you and you got kind of hurt. Skeleton Key? I remember. My tricks and we had to fight storming. We were clear of the reef. The thing got caught. I did. And then we... You know, Captain Pike... You wanted to wreck the ship. What? You're crazy. You did. Piled it up for your insurance. The corporal was in it with you. You had the launch. Oh, yeah. Before we even struck. Well, if that's true, then what are we doing here in a whaleboat without any food and hardly any water? The ship sealed over after something. You couldn't get the launch clear. <laughs> you murdered. That was the whole ship company. I think I'm dying to where I'm putting a curse on you, on both of you. A curse that will follow you and just... Josh! Josh! 
We don't lie. It isn't she was water lost. What about a plague, sir? The whole crew dying off. There might be. Hey, look in this cabin here. Anyway. Yeah, it looks like it must have been the captain. Yeah. Aye. Everything's shipped here, too. Bunk made up. Hey, what's that? There, get the wall. The sea cat. No, the whole... That chest was all before you were born. Look at the iron work. The rust on it. What do you suppose is in it? Well, now we are going to see. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Dustin. Uh, no, look for the 
making Christmas, eh? Mm. Well, we'll see. Didn't 
Uh, Benson? No. <laughs> That's good. Won't be long now. Almost three bells. The sun will be coming up in a minute. When it does, I got a hunch we'll get a landfall. And then? <laughs> what do you think? I don't think. I know. You'll kill me. Take her in by yourself. My boy, Benson. That's just what I'm going to do. The Dons couldn't get the gold home, neither could Talbot. But I can and I'm going to. Look, there's the sun. And head off there off the port ball. Land! Yeah, land. Okay, Benson. Ready? <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? Right, you! Go ahead and shoot. You think you can hurt me? You can't. I can't. Have you forgotten that whaleboat with the five men in it that Sam saw last night? The five men he said were us? Have you forgotten what he said that meant? Huh? We're sailing due north. The sun should be rising on the starboard side in the east. Shouldn't it? But it's not. It's coming up to larboard in the west. Sun. Rising in the west. Why? Why, it can't be. And still it is. And that land ahead there, it's not the coast. Don't you recognize it? It's Skeleton Key where you wrecked the Mary Kay. There's what's left of it. Now, do you understand? You're dead. You've been dead for two days. Dead and doomed to sail a death ship in a circle through all each other. No! Oh, no, I'm not dead! 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 I'm not
Soon after they try, these simple little pills made of vegetable drugs. Yes, yes. Now, be sure to mention that Carter's little liver pills do this by increasing the flow of a very important digestive juice. That's right, folks. And the name, Carter's Little Liver Pills, tells us where that vital juice comes from. So next time you don't feel good, try Carter's Little Liver Pills. And see if you don't agree that they're the best friends to your sunny disposition. 25 cents at all drug stores. Raymond again, your host, getting ready to close that door to the inner sanctum and say goodnight until next week when our guest will once again be Paul Lucas. I hope you enjoyed our little story and that you got its moral. Hmm? What moral? Oh, it had one, all right. All our stories have. Uh-huh. Dead men tell no tales. Except on the inner sanctum. So, next Sunday night, we'll overcome the hot weather and invite your friends in for a chilling evening and listen to Inner Sanctum Mystery. However, if you just can't wait till the coming Sunday for our next one, satisfy your craving for a good murder story by reading this month's Inner Sanctum Mystery novel, I'll Eat You Last, by H.C. Brendan. Good night. Featured in tonight's cast were Arthur Vinton as Captain Pike, Byron McCormick as Tom, and Gilbert Mack as Fred. Original music by Lou White. Inner Sanction Mysteries will be on the air again next Sunday evening, same station, same time, when we will again have the honor of bringing you the popular and gifted star of stage, screen, and radio, Mr. Paul Lucas. Be sure to listen in. This is Ed Hurley here reminding you, when you don't feel good, try Carter's Little Liverpool.